Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sheree if you're new here. In today's video, I'm going to be doing part two of my beginner series um, for Makeup for Beginners. This um, series is for people who have not, um, have never worn makeup before or you're just beginning to wear makeup and you have all these questions because it can be rather difficult with all the products and where do you put them and why do you put them on your face and um, what are they doing. So this series will address all of those questions um, for you guys. So let's go ahead. Oh, in this video, <laughs> let me tell you what this video is. This video is talking about primers, the different primers. What are primers and why do we use them uh, with makeup? So if you would like to see um, or know more about primers, then definitely stay tuned. All right, so the first um, primer that I'm gonna be showing you, well, before we get to that, we gotta understand why we use primers. We use primers on our face basically to prepare our skin for makeup um, and to actually help it stay on there um, all day. Well, some do all day, some do um, for, for hours. Um, it depends all on your skin, basically, um, on how well a primer is gonna work well for you because there's a bunch, a ton of primers on the market right now and it all depends on how well your skin um, works with the primer. So I'm just gonna give you what I use in my makeup kit, um, on my clients, as well as what I use personally on my face. So the first one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with pore fillers. Cause you see sometimes makeup and it's just sitting in your pores if you have enlarged pores. I know for me, especially around here, um, it can get a little bit ugly at times if I don't take the necessary precautions. So there are two that are have been known to be really well, uh, work really well. And um, they're the NYX Pore Filler and the uh, Benefits Pore Professional. This one being a little bit better than this one. This is a little bit more affordable. You can find this at Target. Um, you can find this probably at Sephora or um, Ulta. But these work to fill, basically fill in your pores. So you would put that these products on there if you've had issues with large pores, especially when you wear makeup. So you want to just put a little bit, just a tiny dab on your finger and just gently, you know, pat it um, on there. So these are pore fillers, okay? Then we're gonna go into actual um, primers, which you can mix with the pore filler, because um, I've done that before on myself as well as clients. Um, this is from Smashbox, and this is the Photo, Fit, Photo Finish Foundation Primer. It is also pore minimizing. And um, same thing, it's just, you just put a little bit on your finger and dab it into the areas of your face, or put it all over your face, basically. Um, this this primer works okay. I, I found I have combination skin, and for me, it does not work that well because, like I said, like I'm probably getting shiny right now, and um, this does not it's not very mattifying. And I need more of a mattifying primer that's going to help my help locking lock in that makeup and not have me shiny in like 30 minutes because I will be shiny in 30 minutes. My skin is like ugh. Um, so next. Let's go into the eye primers. Now the eye primers are, now that is weird, a <laughs> bag just flew off my bed. Um, the eye primers, um, this is the Urban Decay. So what they do, they help your eyeshadow stay on your lid a little bit longer. Um, it helps the pigment sometimes pop a little bit more. So if you don't use a primer, you might not get the true pigmentation of your um, of the eye color. So this especially one that I use is from Urban Decay. And it is the eyeshadow primer potion. This is the original one. I believe they have a, another one, if not two more. I'm not really sure, but this one. I have been using for a long time and I like to stick with products that I know work really well. So um, yeah, this is from Urban Decay. And then the other one I think I got in my, um, this is from Lorac and I got this in, um, I got in a palette. So, and it's worked really, it's worked really well from what I've been, you know, seeing so far. So just two, just eye primers, that's the purpose of that. Just to help your eyeshadows just pop a little bit more and stay um, longer throughout the day, okay? All right, next we're gonna get into what I wear on a date when I do wear makeup, 
is because I had to have a mattifying primer. Like my skin, like I said, I have combination skin, but for some reason it just is more on the oily side. So I have to have something that is mattifying. And this works well. This is Becca. Now this does not work the best for my skin, but I'm gonna show you um, in a few minutes what this what works the best for mattifying my skin. But this works well on for oily skin. If you want to mattify your skin and have a mattified look throughout the day, this is the Becca Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfector. It is a more on the expensive side, it's about $40. But listen, I've had this for about over a year and I'm still using it okay I don't wear makeup every day though <laughs> but I'm still using it so it uh, even though it costs 40 40 dollars it still it lasts a long time so I if you have oily skin I would definitely look into the Becca primer because it works now what works well for me the best as an oily girl especially up in this t-zone here and the oil starts coming out is an oldie <laughs> but goodie for me now i do not do this every day because i read that it's probably not too good for your skin in the long run so just you know halfway listen <laughs> but if you have a special day when you want and you have very oily skin and you want to have your makeup last all day milk of magnesia okay <laughs> because and this is actually brand new. I haven't even opened it yet because I ran out of my, my um, other one and it lasts a long time. $4 from Target and you just take a little bit on your finger and it's gonna have it white, okay? It's gonna be white. But once you put your makeup on, it'll, it'll go away, okay? So don't let that scare you. You're probably gonna scare your husband or boyfriend or whatever for a little while, but they'll be okay. <laughs> So this helps my makeup last 12 and 14 hours, y'all. I'm and I'm telling you, if I don't put this on, the oil will be showing up. And if I if I put Becca, Becca really keeps me for about four hours, four to six hours. But this right here keeps me for like yeah, 14 hour days. So when I have, I know I'm gonna have those extra long days. This milk of magnesia is what I what I go for. So. So yeah, but I don't use that on clients <laughs> because ain't nobody trying to be sued. And yeah, but if you, I'm telling you, oily skin, check it out. Don't use it every day. But so yeah, <laughs> those are the primers that I use on myself um, as well as some of them I use on clients as well. If you have any questions about primers, um, I, oh, I also want to try one by uh, Makeup Forever. It's supposed to have a good mattifying primer. Like I said, it's a ton of primers out there. Um, so if you have some that you would suggest that I try out, please please leave those in the comments below. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, leave those down in the comments below as well. Um, as always, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Enhanced by Cherie. Um, on Twitter, I am Enhanced without the D by Cherie. Yeah, <laughs> Enhanced by Cherie on Twitter. Um, and if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more videos from me, then hit that subscribe button. I usually upload at least one video per week. Um, it's getting into the summertime, so I'll have more time to do like maybe two or three videos per week. So definitely hit that subscribe button if you would like to um, see more. So until next time, you guys be blessed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.